I'll go ahead and call the May 11th, 2015 meeting of the Todd County School District Board of Education order. Welcome everybody. I have a motion to adopt the agenda. Move. Moved by Melissa. I'll second, but I would <coughs> second by Laverne. Any discussion? Yes. Yes. I'd like to uh, request that the executive session that we have there, uh, 9.1, be an executive session for board only, for personnel. Okay. Any discussion on that? Okay, we'll have the executive session for board only. Any other changes to the agenda? Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. 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 Opposed, same sign. Approval of the minutes for 427, 55, 430, and 57. Do we have a motion? Moved by Travis. Second with a question. Second by Melissa with a question. Yes, Melissa. Um, and my question is to Dr. Bordeaux. <coughs> Mr. Hammer, is that he dog only correct? Our motion here says he dog. It doesn't say Spring Creek. I put him at both places because she's gone completely. Um, but I thought that it was that we wanted someone full time at he dog, not part time at he dog, was why we made this motion. Yeah, that was my that's what, that was what I thought too. We didn't want anybody part time at he dog. We wanted somebody full time at he dog. That's that's what you want. And that's the way that the motion was made in the minutes. I just wanted that note. Anything else? No. Uh, yes, I do. On the regular April 27th minutes, there was a uh, motion by Melissa and second by Travis to approve the following certified teacher contracts for the school year, et cetera, and then authorize business manager to issue a contract for signatures. Uh, I'm asking a question if, and we were shown that there was already contracts signed by individuals and uh, I, do not know where anybody other than the board is authorized to offer contracts, so I'm, I'm questioning what procedure we did at that meeting. Uh, if our wording says we uh, voted to issue a contract for signatures by the candidate, but it's already been done, I think it's, uh, we're doing stuff that it's not following procedure or something on it. So, Which uh, class was that over? It's the uh, regular April 27th meeting. Down on the bottom. And I guess I can ask the superintendent, but was there, or was there contracts already signed by the candidates? I don't know that answer. I know that they were they were given to them? In other words, they were offered by someone else other than the board, right? Yes. So, and if the board is understanding they're, they're the only ones that can offer contracts, so. And that's for food for thought for the rest of the board and then uh, in that minutes of the meeting, there's also a motion made by Deanne, seconded by Travis, to approve the hiring of Leona Antone to fill the Spring Creek principal position and authorize the business manager to issue a contract, et cetera. Uh, and that, uh, I have questions on that procedure. We normally list the days and the dollar amounts and uh, that was not listed on that motion, so I, 
I guess I'm asking to, as part of this motion to, or minutes to request to resend that motion and try to enter the correct days and dollar amount in the motion. Do we have that, Chad? It's a moot day point for the dollar. Be refused. Pardon? It's a moot point because she declined it. Oh, okay. She declined the contract, so we'll have to wait. Well, point taken, but I, I would think we would want to follow standard procedure. Everything else is listed with days and dollar amounts. Can we amend the minutes to include for the days and the dollar amount that was offered? I guess that's what I'm asking about is to, uh, to rescind that motion and then introduce a correct motion with the days and dollar amount because. Can you just can you just amend it or do you have to rescind the whole motion? Can we just amend the minutes to reflect that in that motion? Actually, I would think that she, you know, didn't even, she, you know, declined the offer of the contract, it really wouldn't make any difference. And that the next time, if we, if we offer a contract to somebody, we make sure that that's included in there. You mean she turned down the $100,000? She did. So if I say that from you, we don't really have to deal with that. Uh, but I, think I would think we probably should do something on it just in case. I would ask that the minutes be amended to reflect what the offer was, even though she declined it, but the original offer, the days and the amount should be okay. shown. Okay, is that good for you, Lily? Oh, that would be good. Okay. So just amend the minutes to show that, chat. Just so everybody knows that would be paid 7000 for 220 days. Yeah. 220 at 55? 57. 57. Okay. Anything else on the minutes? No, that's no. it, other than I missed one. Okay, all those in favor say yes. Yes. Yes, opposed same sign. Yes right? to everyone, but I'll abstain on the one I missed on 5-7. Okay. All right. Well, let the minutes reflect that he abstained from 5-7. Travis, is that a yes? Yes. Okay, good. Uh, 1.4, high school overnight trip. I'll move. Moved by Melissa. Do I have a second? Second. Second by Laverne. Discussion. Are um, they asking for money for this or? No, it's covered by Europe and JOM. Oh, wonderful. Good. Okay. Do you want to pitch in? Sorry? Well, I just, just going to reach for my checkbook here, but if you guys got to cover it, what can I say? I'll second if you're reaching in. Second. <laughs> Motion made and seconded. All those in favor of the high school trip say yes. 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 Opposed? Same sign. Motion carried. Band and choir overnight trip. All moved. Moved by Melissa. Second. Seconded by Travis. Any discussion? All those in favor say yes. 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 I'll, yes. I'll do a yes to Yes. Travis? Yes. yes. Motion carried unanimously. Public presentations to the board. Is anyone here that would like to address the board? Yes, sir. Can you give us your name, please? Uh, Glenn Marshall from Boys and Girls Club of Rosebud. Okay. This is my first school board meeting, so I'm not able to make any presentations, but just want to update you a little bit on what's going on uh, at the club and some of the opportunities for partnership and stuff like that. Uh, just kind of going. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm Glenn Marshall, like I said, I've been at the club uh, two years. Before that, I got to work at the high school for one year as a social studies teacher over there. Um, I brought for you, at least for the board, our kind of our site reports from the last month to let you know a little bit of what we're going on. Um, five of them anyway. Uh, we're pretty excited we've finally been able to achieve what we think is some significant uh, academic impact uh, with the kids. We have some really positive comments from some teachers um, at TC Elementary at least uh, recently with some of that. Um, every day we got writing, reading, math groups going on, computer lab, uh, those kind of things. Uh, right now we're serving about 
70 to 80 kids per day between the Rosebud and the Mission locations. A um, little more at Mission than at Rosebud. Um, they're there for four hours after school, a couple hours academic focus, and a couple hours um, various things, whether that's a field trip to a ranch, or if we're going to do uh, play some sports, or we're going to go check out the climbing wall in Rosebud, or all kind of things like that. Um, so we've been really excited. We uh, just restarted again in August. We shut down for a few months, uh, kind of last summer, because um, there were some significant funding issues. But we're up and going now and out of debt and mostly secured uh, for the coming year and looking into the future. We have some big opportunities to, uh, to expand as well. Um, all new staff since August, with the exception of, of me and, and one other part-time uh, high school student who uh, works there right now. Um, I've been excited by the way our staff is organized and um, Right, we think a whole new experience for the youth. Um, this summer we're going to be launching uh, some new sports leagues. We adopted uh, T-ball and baseball, which has previously been Thunder Baseball, and now it's kind of Thunder slash Boys and Girls Club Baseball. We'll hopefully a little more resources and kids and stuff like that. Hopefully a new field right next to Sunrise Apartments, which is really exciting. Um, we're looking at some of those transportation issues. Uh, basketball, lacrosse, and soccer as well. Um, with Ahmed from the elementary kind of continuing soccer into the summer months. Um, Hopefully right by sunrise as well. Um, so we're excited about that. I just wanted to kind of let you know a little bit and answer any questions you might have about what the Boys and Girls Club is. I know it's been around for a while, but we're a little bit different now, um, like I was saying. I certainly want to invite anyone to come visit, you know, really any, any day. Uh, I invite people all the time, but I really do mean it. And just stop in and check out what's going on with the kids or else volunteer to, to read a book or play some basketball or, or whatever. Uh, Monday through Friday, we're open from right after school, thanks to our uh, Groundbreaking bus partnership. Uh, thank you, Dr. Bordeaux, for helping that, and also principals. Um, so, kids come on the bus right after school, and they stay till about 7 15, 7 30, depending on the week. Uh, any day uh, of the week, you guys want to certainly stop in. So, look and move forward and expand. And um, we applied for the 21st Century Grant, as Todd County did too, and uh, that might be a real big chance to partner. You know, if we get that, or if we both do, or whatever, with some uh, after school tutoring and things like that. Um, we'll find out about that uh, in, in a month or two. You know? um, so, uh, especially if that happens, we'll hope to serve maybe even twice as many kids because we just lack the resources right now for sufficient staff. But I'm uh, really excited and thanks for all you're doing. Uh, certainly, the school's the number one for the kids, and we're hoping to just be a, a supplement to that for as many as we can. So, Thank you very much. Any questions? I have a question for you, Mr. Marshall. Yes, sir. I just got a quick glance to try to read. It says, after school program, we're seeing amazing gains in reading, math, and spelling. What are you seeing that maybe our teachers haven't seen, or what's? Uh, well, we all the same uh, kids, certainly. And we don't track it quite as well as you guys do with the standardized tests and stuff like that. But just what our after school tutors have seen is they have the same people every day in their little groups, seeing kids progress. And then comments from a few teachers at the elementary recently. and. Um, I guess some of our staff work at the school too, a lot of them at the elementary, and they were kind of looking at some of the kids' scores that they know go to the club, and we're just impressed by that. So. Can I comment? I've, I've seen a difference in my students' ability to perform math facts and, and know multiplication facts and addition and then subtraction facts very quickly. So, so we should be is. looking at hiring them and no. <laughs> 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 The extra help that they're giving. Oh, the, the additional help. <laughs> yes. Okay, additional thank you very much. <laughs> Somebody asked me, do they still have the bowling lanes on the building there? I certainly do have them. Uh, they're in kind of a very slow process of getting back into operation. Mm -hmm. We have to work on them. So. And you're not open on weekends, just during the week? Just during the week. We'd like to go open weekends at some point, but for now we don't have really the staff. And if you wanted to volunteer, how would you? Get involved. That's a great question. You can stop by either the Rosebud or Mission site. Uh, Rosebud one's right next to the, the rodeo grounds there, if you've ever seen a basketball court out front. Uh, fill out a volunteer app and we use to real can you, can you fill one out here in Mission? Yes. Yep. Rosebud or Mission, either one. We got those there and do uh, just a real quick background check and ready to plug in. Good. Thank you very much. Appreciate yeah. it. Thank you, man. Thank you to Dr. Thank Bordeaux for supporting a lot of our stuff with the busing and, and the field usage and stuff like that. So. Good. It's been a good partnership. Thank you. Thanks a lot. Anyone else like to address the board? I don't. Yes. Okay. Um, What's your name, please? Jordan Heskey. And then I have my papers. 
Because this summer, I am going to Australia to play in the Down Under tournament, representing South Dakota in the Central Girls State Basketball. And I need help fundraising the money to be able to go down to Australia. We leave July 13th. We'll be in Australia for nine days, and then in Hawaii for an additional three days. I thought we did this at a past meeting. Yeah, I think we did, yeah. We already yeah. approved yeah. 250 yeah. or something like that. Yeah, so. and then um, <clears throat> another girl was offered a thousand, so I was saying if I could be able to get the same amount as she did. Well, Jordan, I'm going to be the burden of some bad news. <laughs> okay. uh, we, we did get this before, and uh, on, on your paperwork, it didn't list anything, but uh, so we, Dr. Bordo, we put in the account of the mom. I think we gave you 250. Yeah. And uh, I guess I'm going to say that uh, we made the effort, and uh, I, I do think it's fair to compare another kid with your situation, but that's my personal opinion and you know, all that. But we did give you 250, I believe, so that part. So. That, that's my my opinion. So, did um, what did you what do you do personally for fundraising? Um, I have jars set up at Bowie's where I work at. Then I have one at Ampide. And my sister lives in Winter, which I used to live. And um, they have a meeting for the Down Under Sports, and they recommend going around to the businesses for the donation papers, asking for donations and stuff. So we did that. And then my work is going to do a cookout for me on June 3rd to help fundraise. And then there's a site called GoFundMe, which you can put up your picture and your information of what you're trying to fundraise to go to. And, and you can people can donate or sponsor you different ways to that way. Or a lot of people do like lock-ins and basketball tournaments around here to help fundraise. And since I'm going to be in a school where I won't be so busy, I'm, going to try to put on like a lock-in or host a basketball tournament. And that's what I've been doing so far. That's, around the meetings, that's what they recommend. So that's what I've been doing. I think, um, I think we did, we did uh, unless somebody would like to do something different, I think we did, we did donate $250, which is probably, you know, a good amount in the jar, so to speak. <laughs> and. Um, I think that's probably where we're at right now. Okay. But thank you very much and good luck. All right, thank you. Yep. Uh, anyone else? Student Council. So you'll come back on the 26th. Pardon? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. There is no Student Council. No Student Council. Wombly with Choni TP. I didn't know exactly what kind of information the board would need. So I just did a short history of what we do out there along with um, what's currently going on. And um, also took a look at the stats for the students that we have. How many days average we keep students um, and what kind of progress they make during the time that they're there. Um, on the first page, you'll see it's, it's got a, a, a short history page, and we've been out there for nine years. Um, myself, Mary Eflin, I've, I've worked out there for nine years, and um, I, I think uh, the things that we've gone through over the years, uh, we've tried to adapt to what happens within the tribe and what the school district's needs are, and, and pretty much just working together. Um, agreement is that we're currently working with the facility and the tribe and other tribal entities that's that's also attached and uh, there's a there's a document the last document is is one that dr bordeaux developed to work with um, off-site or off-reservation students 
and, and that's a new thing this year. Um, some of the things that, that are different this year than they have been in the past is we've had over 100 students every year up until this year. And um, this year we had 49 on the roster, but one of them was an atheist, so it's really 48 students. Um, the 48 students on average spend 28 days <coughs> in the facility. And during those 28 school days, on average, they complete four assignments a day, which would be similar to the block scheduling that happens in high school. And these are all completed assignments with the passing grades are better. And during that during the school day, which starts at 8.30 in the morning, ends at 3.30, um, even though there's an average of four assignments done, there could be more attempts and reteaching until until the four assignment average is reached. Um, there's, there's a lot of classes that have been completed out there by students. Um, one thing to note on the on the spreadsheet page is is the ages of kids in each grade level, and it kind of shows a problem that I, I I've seen over and over, um, which is students not attending school. Um, this attendance issue ends up being um, 18 year olds aging out of the system. With, with little or no skills. And uh, we have a student now who's 17 who just passed the day grade. And, and that happened like I think less than a week ago. Um, there are other students that, that come through at age 17 that have missed four to five years of school total. And at times we end up doing really basic um, skills teaching. And, and there have been students that have been through that we taught how to read, and and um, that's that's a huge problem with the tenants, and and I'm not sure how to address that as, as uh, working at the facility, but I, I see uh, part of the problem is, is the enforcement of school attendance law by the tribe, um, and this is even within the kids that we have this year and in the past years, the, the kids that we end up keeping. Or, or being on probation, um, the follow-up with probation is, is pretty poor. Um, students, even on probation, can can be dropped from school before their the probation or the courts realize that they missed that many days. Um, I think part of the reason why we've had half as many students this year as um, past years. The, the tribe is, has a lot of chaotic things happening within it. Um, there's a lot of political things, and I'm sure you, you're aware of some of these. But the, the absence of an attorney general um, is, is a big thing. The children's court judge has been really ill and not been able to, to provide court. So we have. Uh, sporadic attendance of judges when it can be there for the adult court. So that changes the number of students that can be there because the, the tribal code says that students can be held or juveniles can be held for 24 hours. And, and after that 24 hours, if they don't have court, then they're released. And that happens. Um, there's a lot of students that are, that are coming to stay uh, the 24 hours and are released because of the lack of court. Um, these are problems that, that you can see in the amount of students that we have this year. Um, one of the things I will say about the program that, that's been really good over the years is it, it's a really innovative program. And, and the partnership that we have built, it's, it's, a, real, it's a model for the Bureau of Indian Affairs, and, and it has been for years. Um, now there are other reservations that are building juvenile detention facilities on their reservations, and they're looking to, for example, the Chony TV to help guide them to, to build these partnerships with, with the school systems and, and between all of the tribal entities. Um, 
if there are any questions, I can take any questions and try to answer them. <coughs> any questions? Maybe, Gary, if I get a chance to read through it, if I do, then maybe I'll give you a holler or call you, but I haven't had the opportunity to really look at what you informed us on, and I'd like the chance to look at it before I, uh, if you don't mind, so. Any other questions? No. Thank you very much. You. Appreciate you coming in. 3.3, superintendent's report. Um, two quick things I found out today that the uh, Rosebud Fair is the last weekend in August. So I'm suggesting that we meet with the calendar committee people and amend the calendar for those few days. I think originally in the calendar that was approved, we didn't have anything happening on the 20th and 21st, I think, um, that Thursday and Friday but it has to be a, the following week instead, so. Otherwise, if we try to have school, there's no way we're gonna have any kids here. So the fair is actually on the 28th, 29th, and 30th of August. And in our calendar, we had it for the 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. Doc, do you remember when was? The, I thought the fair was. They told us it was uh, always the third week at the, in August. But we got, we got, when, we got and I don't weekend know, in August. And I don't know why. I just um, did, uh, I, there's some, I think nobody quite knows for sure. I think even one year they had two post posters printed with two different dates. The carnivals. <coughs> yeah, we had two carnivals that year because it got messed up. Um, when we called down our S28. <coughs> because I know somebody who just called two weeks ago and they told them it's the third week, it's always the third week. Yeah. That's that's what they told me when I called the first time. When I called the second time, they said something else. When I called the third time, they said by resolution it was a, the third weekend. But I don't think anybody would have made the resolution counted on the fact that they'd have five weekends in August. I think we, before we jump the gun, we wait for an absolute positive. Wait till the posters are printed? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we want to make sure that we inform all the staff before the details. Yeah. So. But anyway. Is anybody? In other words, what you're saying, subject to calendar, could have to be adjusted based off of. Maybe we ought to just get together, adjust the calendar so we have two calendars, so whatever it is, that's where we can go with. <laughs> Anything else? You see that wall? I'm about ready to bang my head. <laughs> <laughs> the only other thing is last week at the Tribal Education Committee meeting that I went to, um, I talked to them about the facilities that we're leasing from the Bureau and asked them to begin a process of searching um, for some land in the event we're ever, ever able to um, provide new facilities at those sites with or without the Bureau. So um, just so that you guys know, I got to write a letter and then they'll um, contact their land resources people and do whatever to try to put some acreage aside in those, in those communities to, for a new building. Any questions? Otherwise, that's all I have. Thank you, sir. Administrators, Carol, what's happening? All kinds of stuff. Special Olympics. Um, had a nice turnout, pretty nice day for that. Um, lots of kids came over and supported um, their classmates that were participating in that. Um, we just got the, fresh off the press last week, the parent survey, and we went up, as you can see, in all areas, so that's good. Um, this is just kind of a snapshot of, of the class. Pretty good turnout, really, right at 50% of the parents filling out the survey, so that's pretty good results for surveys. So, um, better speech and hearing month, so just some awareness on that and ASHA. And, you know, we've had a lot of uh, updates on that with the um, speech department moving from the Department of Ed and the Department of Health, so trying to find speech people is it's really interesting, so. Oh yes, we have spring clean um, last Thursday. We've talked about doing um, parent training, 
So the resource center staff did a spring fling for parents, and I was pleasantly surprised. They had 75 plus people come to it. They had collected enough door prizes so they could give a door prize away every 15 minutes. The grand prize was a $50 bill that went to one of our parents out of Pearlsburg Preschool, and they got to deliver that. So cool. Yeah. So it was really a great turnout. Any questions for Carol? I have none for you, Carol, right now. Thank you. Thank you. Linda, how's the middle school? Just doing a lot of assessments. We just finished corner balance. We're doing SRI, SMI, uh, age with maze. <laughs> a lot of assessments going on. And as planning for the end of the year, um, tomorrow's our student recognition night. Um, we're having roast beef. Well, Wednesday. Wednesday, I'm sorry. Wednesday. Um, and our ceremony is May 27th. Are they just doing one, Linda? Yes, we're just going to do one. At what time? At 9.30. And then we'll have to watch evening in the afternoon. And what time is Wednesday evening? Five? Five. Hmm. Um, and we had some of our students take the algebra test, the eighth graders. Uh, 16 of them took it yesterday and the seven of the six we passed. It was a three hour test, but they saved it for seven hours. They were not reading any card. And when we have some more that have to take it again, those that didn't pass have a chance of taking it again. So, cool. Busy time of the year over there. So you got their, their dinner on the Wednesday <coughs> night and then the um, moving on on the 27th? Yes. Okay. Any questions for Linda? Thank you. You're welcome. Anna. Um, my report basically goes over attendance and um, our write-ups and all our turnaround principles. Our enrollment is staying steady, which is good the second half of the year. And attendance stays high at 94%. Um, we, uh, one of the highlights of the turnaround principle four where we went through, we spent Fridays in service going through our curriculum and seeing where there might have been gaps in terms of instruction, or what curriculum the teachers thought they had, and what ones I thought they had versus the ones that were available. So we found that there's a little bit of a gap in reading and how they're instructing, not so much the availability of resources, but in terms of math and social studies, they've been pretty steady and consistent with each other. So. That was nice. The purpose of that meeting was just to get things lined up and labeled well so the transition of whoever comes in next year, it's clear what each classroom focused on in terms of instruction. So that's what we're trying to do. That's what you know, teachers have been focusing on for this month, basically. Um, also, I didn't know anything under turnaround principle six, because at that point there wasn't. But during that meeting, the time of me writing this report, what we talked about maybe changing classrooms so that the office is on um, the side rather than right when you walk in because then they have a line of sight from people entering and who can go in classrooms. So if we set a desk up um, just to increase security given the nature of those school buildings out there. So we are looking at some changes or recommendations from us for whoever chooses the classrooms next year and changing that for safety reasons. Thank you. Thank Any you. questions? Questions, Anna. Cheryl, how's the high school? It's still standing. Good. Leaking, but it's standing. <laughs> <laughs> um, last week we had student recognition and NHS inductions, and that was, uh, turned out really nice. We had a good meal made by Karen Worsek at the middle school. She always cooks for us. Um, this Saturday was our senior watch evening for the senior honorings. We had a good turnout. I'm waiting for some numbers from Gabby on all the students who participated in the feathering ceremony. Of course, next weekend is our graduation. And right now we have 55 students who are on the list to graduate. We have five in danger, and they have 1.5 days left to make their work done. They're all pretty close, but we'll see who makes it. Smarter balance, smarter balance testing is finished, except we have one student. Why does this not finish then? But we have one student who needs to start her testing. She got in a car accident, so we're kind of having a hard time getting her into test. She is um, was at the school today, barely getting around, so she's supposed to be back on Wednesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday to hopefully do her testing. 
um, we have almost everybody hired for next year for the high school except we need two math teachers still and that's our struggle is finding math teachers so hopefully TFA can come through for us other than that we're just closing away with tracking these seniors and they're driving us nuts but <laughs> we want to get them done here is that a 55 definite or 55 with 55 with five in danger okay we had like six of them today that finished everything and got passing grades that were also on this list. So, calling parents saying, get them in here. Good. They said they're there. <laughs> so Congratulations this Saturday, right? Not next weekend. This weekend. Did I say next week? Yeah. This week. Well, it's the next weekend well, coming up. Yeah. Which is, this coming week. Yeah. I just wanted to check with Cheryl. <laughs> How long do we expect it to last? Probably at least an hour. Okay. Because it's a small class. So. Thank Phyllis for all her hard work with us. She does our certificates and she does the program for us about graduation. She does a lot of pictures. Have they picked a the commencement help. speaker yet? Sorry. They did. It's Mr. Hooper again. Coming? Oh, pardon me. Mr. Hooper again. Hmm. Yeah. He's good for a half hour, isn't he? <laughs> we'll tell him five minutes. <laughs> <Thomas. laughs> okay, any, Thank other, you. any other serious questions for Cheryl? No, good job, Cheryl. Thank you. Did, Thank you. Do you think that the three-week thing helped some? Mm -hmm. It did. Motivate yeah. the motivation? We'll have less for summer school because they got that first semester completed. Cool. All good. right. Good. good. That's good to hear. Erin. Yes. Um, the Smarter Balance window closes this Friday. Um, they're pretty adamant with us that even our long-term suspended students have to take it. So that's kind of a challenge, getting them into the schools long enough to be able to take that assessment. So Jane's working really hard on that. Um, our D-Step Science um, window was over uh, two weeks ago, and the results are already in as far as individual students. They're still coming up with like the summative reports. So once the Smarter Balance assessment are in, we'll go ahead and mail those out to parents. D-Step's ready to go. Um, I did list all of the summer PD that we're offering. We opened that up to staff last week. And like immediately we had like 80 staff signed up for different PD sessions. So they're really excited and interested in what we're offering. And we tried to find something under each of the seven turnaround principles. Some sort of offering that, that more of a broad range for all of our staff. Um, I did on Littleburg talk about the summer reading program that we're offering through Littleburg School. I got to talking to um, coaches about that, and that's something that many of them wanted for their schools as well. So other schools were able to take up, um, advantage of that. What it is is each student gets, at their level, 10 um, books, five fiction, five nonfiction, and each of them comes with an activity um, sheet to go along with that. And that's what they'll go ahead and take home this summer. So to kind of stay ahead of like that summer slide. So the kids are excited, teachers are excited. So hopefully next year we can expand it to more schools. Oh. Good. Any questions? I do have a question for you, Aaron. On your comment, you said that we are required to test uh, the student that's been suspended long term. Um, who is this, the state or who's? The state. Uh, I guess I found a question how much that student would have for info. I mean, like. Africa. Right, and we're held accountable for their scores when they haven't been instructed for a very long time. Yeah. So, yeah, that's something that Jan Martin is the assessment director, but we all know Jan, so she's... And technically, they're not even participating in our school anymore. No. Yeah. Thanks for the answer. Any other questions? Okay. Okay, moving on. Our favorite part, pay bills. I'll move. Moved by Melissa. Second. Seconded by Travis. Any discussion? 
I'll skip. I had one. I don't know. I'm skipping through. Hearing none, all those in favor say yes. 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 All those same sign. Motion carried. Financial statement 4.2. Move. Moved by Melissa to approve. I'll second. Seconded by Laverne to approve. Any discussion? All those in favor say yes. 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 All those same sign. Motion carried. 4.3. SDHSSA Board of Directors election. I have recommendations. There's three positions open. First one recommends Steve Moore from Watertown. Second one, Mike Olson from Bennett County. And third one, Bud Postma from Madison. He's running another post. <coughs> We need to pick somebody? Yeah, those are the three that I said. I'll move. Steve I'll move. Moore, but, uh, um, Steve Moore, Mike Olson. What about this amendment? The oh, that's the next one. Yes. Okay. Yeah. I'll move on the recommendations for the shooting. I'll second. Very good for the recommendations. Steve Moore. Next ballot is Mike Olson. There's another ballot. Okay. Yeah. And then the third ballot is Bud Olson. Okay, move on to superintendent's recommendation. Moved by Melissa. No, move uh, by, and I second. Moved by Laverne, seconded by Melissa. Any discussion? <coughs> All those in favor say yes. Yes. Yes, opposed, same sign. Motion carried. <coughs> okay. Move on the amendment to the bylaws, recommending a yes vote. What this essentially is doing is adding another board member to the board of directors. They currently have eight. They want to increase it to nine. And the representative would come from Sioux Falls District. Because they represent, I think, 23% of the high school activities, participants, or whatever you want to call it. So your recommendation is yes? Yes. Oh, yes. Do we have a motion? I'll um, move. Move to approve the superintendent's recommendation. Seconded by second by Travis. Any discussion? All those in favor say yes. 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 Motion carried. Uh, health insurance renewal. I'll move. Moved by Melissa. Second. Seconded by Travis. I have a question. Question by Melissa. Chad, were you allowed to view the, um, did the ASDSD provide the information that you wanted to see? They provided one document for a two-year review before the financial statements. But after everything you've gone through and checked, do you think this is a, in the school district's best interest to go this route this year? Yeah, I'm, I'm not happy, uh, or do I trust the Associated School Board's past management ability of the trust? But in the current situation that we're in, I would recommend. I feel Wellmark is a very positive move, but I've still got issues with associate school boards and how they are managing this trust. Are they going to be more transparent? Do you feel? I do. A lot no, of them are going to have to be. be looking at it closer. Yeah, they're going to have to be. Yeah. Okay. Any more discussion? <coughs> All those in favor say yes. 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 Oh, same motion carried. Thank you. Workman's, you guys workman's say compensation yes. renewal motion. Moved. Moved by Melissa to approve. Second. Second by Laverne. Any discussion? All those in favor say yes. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. 11% increase on that one, just so everyone knows. Workers count 20.4% increase on the property and liability that's coming up. How much increase? 20.4. Workman's comp is 11%. Yeah. Does it increase on workman's <clears throat> comp? They got like a $14 million surplus. They have a surplus, so what was, what was their... Um, why are they asking for increase? With workers' comp, you base it on your school and your experience rating and the number of claims and the number of dollars that go out. So there was a component in there for each separate school. And what they did was they limited the growth to that, and we hit the max. To be quite honest, we did hit the maxes as a school district. 
Dr. Rose absolutely correct. They're sitting on about I don't know, 13, 14 million dollars of a reserve within that fund. Yeah. Um, anyways, that is the recommendation. Okay, property and liability. Oh, do we go on the workman's comp? Yeah. Okay, yeah. property and liability renewal motion. Yeah. Moved by Melissa to approve, seconded by Second. Travis. Discussion 20 point, 20.4%. Wow. Well, a lot of that has to do with the new elementary school coming mm -hmm. up. Um, we're still holding on some insurance on the current building right now, not at North. Okay. Um, you know, so there's some of that going on right there, but adding $15 million in an asset does help increase yeah. it. So, <coughs> okay, any, question, any more questions? All those in favor say yes. 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 All those saying sign, motion carried. 4.8, employee code of con employee code <coughs> expected behaviors. <coughs> Need a motion to approve. Move. Moved by Travis. Second. Second by Melissa. Any questions? And all those in favor say yes. 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 Abstain. Three yes, one abstain, motion carried. Five, personnel, 5.1, superintendent. I'll move. Moved by Melissa. Melissa to enter contract with Dr. Karen Whitney. We have a second. Second. Second by Laverne. Any discussion? All those in favor say yes. 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 Opposed? Is that a yes, Travis? Yes. Okay. Motion carried. Administrative. Motion to approve offer Carol Galbraith contract. Moved. Moved by Melissa. Second. Second by Laverne. Any discussion? All those in favor say yes. 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 Trav? Yes. Yes. Opposed? Uh, motion carried. Certified contract. Can, can yes. I just ask a question on uh, the days to get it back from Carol? Is do we? Is there? Did we just? We offered this. Now, do you have 15 days to return it? And come back or? I have no idea. I would read it that way, yeah. yeah. So. Please return it within 15 days. <laughs> please. Please, please. <laughs> okay. 5.3, certified contracts. Move. Moved by Melissa. Second. Seconded by Travis. Any discussion? Yeah, I have a question. The motion says to approve the attached certified teacher contracts. Do we have some attached contracts? Or have these been offered? The PDF file on there includes all of the um, attached certified teacher contract offers. Mr. Fowler is returning? Yeah. Okay, well, where do you have Mr. Fowler's name at? He's on that. You don't have a copy of the attachment? That one right there? Mm -hmm. Right here. Does, does then we have a listing. On there's, the four on, there's four on top plus all of the ones that are on the PDF file. That's this box, just like this. Is she the only one that has one? Oh, you mean in, the, in the it looks it looks like attachment. it's attachment. attachments, yeah. 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 Wow, when did he get back? Does anybody know? He is. So I'm kind of excited. He he was yeah. this year, and yeah. then they called him back to Alaska. So then now he's back for good. Oh, cool. He isn't back from Alaska yet. But he's coming back. Yeah. yeah. He's coming back. He's uh, coming back. That's the yeah, point. Yeah, I see his wife down in, in <laughs> Valentine. Okay, okay, so the, the in answer to my question of these, has any of them been signed already? I don't know that answer. So we're, they may the have, board is actually offering. They may have. The ones that are on the PDF document were sent out to the to this to those 
potential candidates and they may have come back signed. I don't know if they have or not. Okay. Yeah. But otherwise, just to let your board know that we're saying to issue a contact for signatures by the candidates. Uh, if there's already been signed, we're talking double negative or something again. So. But maybe you guys can get that squared away. We'll, we'll, we'll take the teachers on. Any more discussion? All those in favor say yes. 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 Opposed? Yes. I mean, I'm a yes. But Good. We'll learn to 4 0. Uh, professional non degree non certified contracts 5.4. I'll move. Moved by Melissa to approve. Second. Seconded by Travis. Any discussion? All those in favor say yes. 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 The call yes. same sign. Professional degree non certified resignations. I'll move. Moved by Melissa. Second. Seconded by Travis. Any discussion? All those in favor say yes. 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 Push and carry. Uh, 5.6 support resignations. Two of them. Have, uh, I'll move with a question. Moved by Melissa. Second with Melissa's question. Second by the burn. Yes, Melissa. Were these resignations, were their contracts already signed for the upcoming school year? These are support staff professional. But I guess maybe. Okay. Right. We don't have liquidated damage. Okay. Yeah, that's how it's. Any other right. questions? None. All those in favor say yes. 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 All the same sign. Motion carried. Travis. Yeah, he's yawning every time he yawns. I think it's a yawn. <laughs> supplemental, so, supplemental recommendations. Move. Moved by Melissa. Second. Second by Travis. Any discussion? These are the uh, what we tabled last meeting and were brought henceforth, right? Yes. And they're to offer supplemental contracts or yes. to approve? To offer. To approve the supplemental contract recommendations. Any more discussion? All those in favor say yes. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Substitutes and volunteers. I'll move. Moved by Melissa. Second. Seconded by Laverne. Any questions? All those in favor say yes. 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 Opposed, same sign. Motion carried. Board discussion. Melissa. You always pick on me Ladies first, first every meeting. Ladies first. <laughs> I just want to congratulate all the kids. I know we've got 12, 13 days left, but I just want to congratulate them and the staff and everybody that works for the school district from the groundskeeper to the cook making sure the kids got eight and say, good school year and thank you for everything that you do for our students and for our community. Lawrence. Oh, just to follow up, uh, I know getting close to the end of the year, but uh, just to let the, the other board members uh, remind her that we still have some policies that we never got completed and worked on. But, uh, maybe you guys will have the opportunity to look them in the near future or something. Then I also had asked to request to uh, kind of have an explanation of our employment and advertising of positions and a little explanation of that. And I haven't heard anything back on that one either. So there's a few things that I'll try to see if I can get some answers before I'm done. Uh, so, in other words, I didn't sign up again, so. But that's all I have at this time. Travis. Uh, <clears throat> just like to say thank you, Dr. Wardle, for everything you've done. Um, 
good luck with the future for Vila. Mm -hmm. um, also, all the students and the teachers and admin and Ann. We'll see you. Um, good luck. That's it. Well, fortunately, they haven't left yet, so they'll still be around for a while. <laughs> I did go to the uh, staff appreciation dinner. I thought it was it was really nice seeing all the teachers, the staff there. I thought it was a pretty good time. I always just feel kind of foolish sitting up in front like that. But that's not where I like to be. But uh, it was very good, and it was very nice to have as many people as we had there. It was I'd like to see more next year. It'd be really good. Um, I'm kind of excited about graduation and seeing these. Um, young men and women across the stage, and I really hope that we have done our part to prepare them for everything that happens after they walk across the stage, because as we all know, that's when the real work begins. And I hope we've done enough to prepare them for it, and I'm sure we've done everything we can. I just wish them all luck. And that's all I have. Can I um, five minute break before executive five session? Five minute break before executive and session. We'll go into executive session at exactly 630. Our, our next meeting is out at Lakeview and other than if we have we have a work session or we're having